All right guys, welcome in today. I got an awesome video for you guys. As you can see, I have some shoes out here. So we're gonna talk about how to draw shoes. I got a new tutorial, how to draw shoes. For some odd reason, as much as I like to draw shoes, I do not have a video on how to draw shoes. Um, so I, ha I have a bunch of little shoe drawing, like time-lapse videos, but I don't have one where it just breaks down the simplicity of drawing shoes and starting how to draw just basic shoes. And I do that a lot in my class, um, whether it kind of turns out into a painting or just a color drawing. I've seen actually 3D versions of um, a shoe project just starts as drawing a shoe. So I got a couple different shoes here. What I usually do with the first day of this project is teach the kids a little bit about still life drawing and still life is having something still in front of you where you can draw it and try to get some of the basics with having something right there in front of you. So what I conveniently have is a lot of my own. So when I talk about shoes, usually I talk about differences and similarities. I usually prompt the kids on what things are similar or are unique to different shoes and then we kind of do a little brainstorming. But a lot of kids will come up with probably three or four similarities that are on almost every shoe. And a lot of kids will say like the laces, kind of the front to have some something to secure the shoe. A lot of them will say something about the bottom, whether it has a sole. I always try to tell the kids that it has some sort of flat um, bottom so that that flat part, whether it's a athletic shoe or whether it's dress shoe, usually we're always walking on flat ground so that bottom has kind of a flat part of it. And I always try to hint the kids that it has some sort of opening in it and kind of a flat back. So that's how I started out is I try to think of the letter L on my sheet of paper and then if I have the shoe, I just use this one as an example. So I'll try to do kind of that L shape on the back of it and that's how I start it out. So I'll set my shoe there and I'll try to get kind of that L. And that's as simple as I start out and anybody that's kind of struggling, I'll try to tell them to just get that L shape of the bottom and the back side. From there, I'll usually ask them what side of the shoe is a little bit bigger, kind of the back part or the front. Usually they say the back, um, depending on if it's a high top or a low top. This one's more of a high top. So that front part is a little bit smaller. It kind of has a curve on it and then it gradually goes up and kind of comes back down. Now I can do that pretty easy because I've done this a hundred million times with different shoes. So the more you do this, the better you, that you'll get at it. But basically that first L shape is the basic start of it. And then from there, it's just more details. And like I said, kind of having a curve on the front. Most shoes have some sort of curve on the front and then go up kind of gradually and then kind of have a little loop or a little curve to kind of have your foot go in. From there, it's just adding more and more details. If it was say a low top shoe, like some people have like some Chuck Taylors or some kind of dressier low shoes, from that point, then still that kind of L shape. So this one, I'll start on this side, like the shoe is going the opposite way. So this one, you'd still have that kind of L shape, but this one, you know, wouldn't go as high as like a high top, but you would still curve over that front part of it and then it would still kind of gradually go up. It just wouldn't go as high. And then from there, it would just kind of loop back around. So it would be more like a kind of canvas or a low top shoe. And then from there, you could start adding details. But those two shapes are kind of your basic two different types of shoes that we talk about in my class. And then from there, just the detail, the more details, the more kind of shading and color that you can add to it will really turn this project into something special. Um, so I like this project just as a good still life. It kind of gets kids, kids always like talking about shoes and drawing shoes. Um, they usually get frustrated right at first, but by the time they get to their kind of second or third one, they've really got it. And they start having some really good examples. Getting confidence in drawing, that's one of my big things, is gaining some confidence in drawing things that are right in front of you, because um, that'll lead to better things in other art projects. Definitely, if you like this project and like this idea, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button down below. While you're down there, always hit the subscribe button, the red little button down there. If you're not one of my subscribers, my channel has tons and tons of videos for art projects, all different ages and abilities. That's the best way to find it, is to subscribe, and then you kind of get a notification every time I got one of those new videos coming up. So thank you guys for viewing this video. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel, and we will talk to you guys later.